everybody. It's Mrs. Freeze. I did explain to some of those that really like Nancy Drew that we kind of go over how best to set up the older games, the midway games, into the newer games, uh, specifically on OBS. Uh, that's the software that we use. We actually use OBS Basic. We don't have OBS uh, Streamlabs, so there might be a difference in it. I'm unsure. This is the one that we currently use, but if this helps you guys in running the games, um, I brought my husband here to kind of pass the baton and explain how to, at least through OBS 23.1.0. So this is Hail Monkey Man. Hello. I'm the brains behind this operation that you know as Mrs. Freeze. i I know, I'm super enthusiastic and awesome. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so basically, old games, they are formatted to a uh, different style of uh, resolution and um, operating systems, all that different stuff. So more, majority of the time when you bring them up, they come up pretty square. So as an example of that, we're gonna bring up the Haunted Mansion, Nancy Drew. My wife really, really likes Nancy Drew. So the common issue is that this is an older game. So it, it acts weird. So obviously you bring up an old game, it's going to look like this because it's formatted to a very, very, very small scale. And just for reference, I am using a 2560 by 1440p monitor. So that is the resolution as, as to which that I am pumping out too. So when you look at this, it is very, very tiny. And wherever your cursor goes is stuck within the parameters of this. Now one misconception that you might have is that, oh, okay, well I could just take the original uh, display cap. By the way, we are using the display cap uh, for OBS, not game cap, because it just finds it e easier. And so it'll capture whatever's on your screen. But I'll just uh, take that and I'll just expand it or I'll just uh, cut it down, give it all this black space. Well, the black space is actually just making up for the negative resolution that it cannot find because it is an older game. So it is actually stuck inside of this. And if, so if you tried to crop it down, like try to get rid of that just, you know, manually, then you're actually just cutting into all of this. And so you actually see less and less of this picture until it just kind of ekes out of existence. All right, so with your display cap, what you'll be doing, right now we're recording, so the option will be grayed out, but you right click, you go to resource, resize output source, and, or it says source size. It's a little bit blue, so I'm gonna make sure I have her just over, over it. So what this does is that whatever your display is, it's going to take that source that you're trying to display. So if it's an older game, it's going to take that source and it's going to resize it to the entirety of the screen inside OBS. So this whole area right now, the reason it is so small is because it has a different uh, resolution size and its source size than what we use. Like this 2560 1440 monitor is already pretty big. So it's tiny within that. But then when you go to the source, then it will resize it to expand it to fit the entire screen. So I did that just before. If we then open and answer Drew again, boom. Then you get to see that this game is now fully this size. However, of course, it is still squared off because they didn't make anything uh, wide scale resolution um, back in the day, you know, the good old days. And so what you'll have to do is you'll take this game where you'll take the actual display, and you'll probably have this as a separate dis uh, display source from all of your other uh, sources, and you will then push it to the side over here. So, expand that just a little bit. And so, you'll have to adjust this just a little bit to fit whatever other sources you're going uh, to be using. So we, you know, tend to everyone have their, uh, their game be the base, bottom, source of on uh, underneath all your other things that you're going to pile on top of it like your borders your names your chat logs uh, anything that comes up for bits and subs all that stuff and again you can see on this left side it's a little bit too far so all you got to do you go back into the actual display cap itself and you just kind of pull it and adjust until you get it exactly where you want it to be and this can take a lot of manual adjustment as you can see it's just maybe a tiny bit too far left but you can also crop it down even further if you want, but you just gotta be careful what that's gonna do to your actual game display, because that will cut into what you get to see in game. And this is actually pretty darn close. And so uh, I wanna show you guys the finished source as to what we've done into the other one. And so if you look right over here, this is exactly what it will kinda look like without the actual game being displayed. And so when you look at the actual desktop itself, Obviously, it hovers over a little bit, but that's not what people are going to be seeing because the uh, game itself is square. And so this is, you know, obviously where her camera would be, her name, little Master Chief, he's awesome. And so then if you go to the actual game itself, 
it pops up correctly and bippity boppity boo it fits perfectly right in this size and so square games you can stretch them you can kind of expand them if you want to they can take up the whole screen it's going to look a little bit off resolution it's going to look a little bit fatter uh it's just you know depends on how you want to display it what we like to do since you know everything's kind of pushed out the side anyway uh miss freeze likes to uh have everything up to her left or to her right um the camera and everything will be there and it's it's fun you get the chat logs on the side and then whatever you want but this displays the game perfectly and this is how you can see nancy drew um again it is right click on your display cap and uh, we suggest display cap because the old ones don't show up very well in game cap so it is a display cap you go to resource output size you hit there will be a little notification that does pop up you just click ok it's saying everything that will come up will be resized to the source that you're using which is simply saying hey this is an old thing it's going to use its old thing to or old sizes to expand to the full size of the screen you say okay and then boom it comes up as this and this works not only for the haunted mansion but also works for the uh creature of kapu cave which i think is one of the slightly older not as old but slightly older games um so any of the new games though they have the ability to go either full screen or windowed and they should fit most uh, game screens regularly so you shouldn't have any issues with those um, this is pretty much how to do it I'll be making sure to kind of zoom in on a couple features that are actually on OBS but again this is OBS not Streamlabs OBS should be pretty similar in Streamlabs OBS um, if you're using any other kind of stream uh, software uh, you got to find whatever options may allow you to put it to the original source size but otherwise this is strictly for how OBS works so that's pretty much it. Okay, guys. Well, as you know, I like to stream Nancy Drew on Tuesdays as my Drew's Day Tuesday. So if you guys want to catch up on any more Nancy Drew uh, cases with me, feel free. Um, you can catch me at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But as always, I love you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. You can always send me a direct me message on Twitch. Um, but I can't wait to see you guys the next time I'm streaming. Stay chill. Okay, bye.